Hello everyone, welcome to Bots on TV. It's it. Today is the video of a collaboration, actually. Usually I am showing you the speedruns of the houses that I do myself, interior, exterior, all together. But in today's collaboration, we divided this mission into two and Mademoiselle Sim, I will put her social media addresses in the description box. Please go and check her amazing builds. She's a very talented YouTuber slash Instagrammer. Uh, making sims 4 content she made a christmas themed house but she left the interior design completely to me so she didn't do any kind of floor planning so i'm gonna do that today and i'm gonna put all the furniture and let's see if you will like it so if you're ready let's game shall we so i put the house here as you can see and this is her address you can go and check out her house here and before putting her house please don't forget to put the cheat bb.move objects so that everything is settled properly so i'm gonna create a sim so that i can choose the season to start with so let's use a random sim that i created before yeah let's use broke <laughs> Can he afford it? He cannot. Okay, we need to give him some money first. He'll be furnished. So I put my sims here. I should click play to be able to see the snow on top of this building to represent the Christmas culture. Actually, we don't have Christmas culture in Turkey. So it's a kind of a foreign thing to do for me. It will be challenging for me. That's why I wanted to accept this challenge when she came up with this idea. And as you can see, the house is very, very beautiful. And this tree, I think it's frozen and it looks so good when it is frozen. And yeah, she is definitely super talented. Check her other builds as well. It's so good. So what she did is she made the house like completely empty like this. There's no floor plan, no um, doors whatsoever. Only the windows and only the outside, like how it is looking. And she made sure that the area of the garage is well defined. Other than that, everything is up to me. And there's an attic, but I don't think the attic will be usable. So I don't plan to use this. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff here. I planned like that. Actually, I was playing with this house a bit. I was trying to understand what kind of floor plan I can put. So if you're ready, let's start together. And I will just follow what I've taught before. So let's go in the living mode. Okay. So at first I wanted to start, I started with putting the stairs. And I think it's important that stairs are right in front of the main gates because if you have something to grab from the second floor, you should be able to get to the second floor very easily so that's the main logic for me so I decided to put it here and I wanted this house interior would be um, dense with wooden colors wood and white and again like brown so those would be the color code for me Mm, I guess it's gonna be like something like this and this and then mm, I guess I want some more area here only if we could use this half of the tile to create a proper wall that I want to build. 
and in this building also I never done this before uh, I never put some proper corridors so I'm gonna try that today and hope you will like it as well I plan to cover this as well and the ladder going to the attic would be kind of hidden uh, it will be in the corridor it will be somewhere I wanted to make it hidden actually but for some reason it was giving me error by the way I'm using db.moveobjects code don't forget to put that please I'm reminding again so if you put that you can easily move things around so if you click alt button it just moves around Please try to do that if you never tried before. It's very helpful and it immediately drastically changes how you can design your house. And this is the corridor that I want to put. It will be one tile long. So I want a study room here. Mm. I'm not sure if it was like that. So I created the closet here because the master bedroom was here. And then there is a toilet right behind. Like this, you can reach the toilet from the corridor at the end of the corridor. Yeah, it has to be like this. And I thought that there will be two children at this house, one child and one teenager. And this is a study, a bathroom, master bedroom, and under there will be a kitchen area here. And a living room and some hobby corner here. And there's going to be dining area and the garage. Yeah, I think that's all I am planning to do so far. And there will be additional bathroom here. Yeah, a bigger one. And I want this bathroom to be... Uh, to use one of those windows here. I didn't want to add any other windows, that's why I was like thinking really hard where where to put what because if I change something it would change the exterior design I don't want that so I wanted to obey the rules set that she created as much as possible mm, maybe we should do like this yes that's more or less how I came up with and the corridor will be like this and I only want to change this I want this to go down since we're uh, we're not gonna realize this garage anyways I wanted at least its meaning to stay there like usually there is a ramp in the garage so that the garage door is useful still but in this uh, in sims there there are no ramps so i decided to put ex at least this sunk garage wipe and with uh hmm. sturdy stairs like the cheapest would be okay i guess and for the doors before putting the doors and stuff, I want to illuminate this house inside. Okay, this will allow me to see the colors perfectly while I'm uh, designing inside. And up from this point, I plan to show you the speed run so that you don't have to bear with me while I'm getting crazy over the interior design. So you're going to watch it very, very fast. So. If you're ready, let's start the speed run.
Hello, it's me again. So I figured that maybe you will get bored just to watch my speed drum with some background music. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't expect me to er appear again, right? <laughs> I'm hoping that you wouldn't be like, oh no, he appeared again. So let me know in the comments, please, if you want me to talk over the speed run or just leave you alone with some nice music so that you can learn things from me, hopefully. And uh, I'm not gonna talk all the time, but I will just pop up time to time, okay? This video is uh, has got long during the edit and this is the third day that I am working on it, actually. It's been so tiring job for me, but it was also fun. So I really enjoyed doing it and I hope you would feel my joy as well. <laughs> I spent so much time and effort in this build, so I hope you're gonna like it. And in here, I, uh, I wanted to clear it out. Like, usually I forget to put proper toilets in my builds. So in this build, since it's a cozy one, I wanted to put two different bathrooms and one had to be at least big. And Usually at, it had to be, there had to be another bathroom upstairs maybe, but maybe it's more common in the US. That's what I thought. Then in the end, I decided to put another ch child's room. And when I was putting the wallpaper, I decided that it's going to be one teenager, one toddler. Nothing else. Like, I don't decide in the beginning that it's gonna happen like this sometimes it's just a wallpaper just attracts you and you decide that okay there's a toddler there <laughs> and in the usually in the kitchen i also like to put some different tiles and a different walls wallpapers or just some stone wall to clarify where the areas that you you're gonna put the oven and the refrigerator so I recommend you to do that do the same as well so that you have an idea of how to put things when you're doing your build and in uh, in terms of wallpapers I try to use the very generic wallpapers as much as possible and I think that's it I'm gonna talk to you again soon
Hello, it's it again. <laughs> I popped up again. Yeah. Um, so as you might realize that I put some very small rooms in here because I like uh, building tiny places and putting lots of clutter items over there. I think it gives more cozy environments and, and since it is a cozy uh, Christmas cottage, I think it would be suitable in that manner. But maybe it's not so realistic in terms of an like, American cottage that you would find. Um, let me know in the comments if what do you think? Like, do you prefer this style or do you prefer a bigger kitchen, bigger living room and stuff rather than these smaller places? And I didn't want to cut from the speedrun, so I wanted to insert my uh, talk over into this video so that you enjoy a bit more hopefully <laughs> and so that you don't miss some point that i did if you were wondering after you download i wanted to give all of the things that's why this video is kind of long but i hope you're gonna enjoy By the way, at the second day, did you realize that I understood that I don't have a Christmas tree at this house? <laughs> I barely have a decoration, I, ha I don't have any ornaments and stuff, like I put one ornament to the entrance of the living room, but other than that, nothing. <laughs> and also, this is a Christmas cottage, uh, like five uh, to be published five days later than the Christmas, so I think it's fine. Like you would already understand that like i'm not the christmas guy <laughs> so i don't understand it i don't get it but it's still it's still fine and it's still fun not fine uh for me to do it and i hope you're gonna enjoy it if you plan to use it maybe that hamper over there is not useful and by the way i wanted to underline that when i was putting the christmas tree under to the first floor i 
like literally moved the items from there to the attic so that you can get it from there <laughs> so it's like the real case like the christmas is coming up you take the tree from the attic bring it to the living room so that you can swap with the items over there right and i tried to put as many gifts as possible maybe it would be more realistic if i had put the actual family and show you with the family but nah mm, nah <laughs> you just do you you do you you put your own family and have fun there and i wanted to say it again like i literally literally focus so much in this game in this build because usually i don't do too many collaborations and when i do it with the mademoiselle sim she's so talented she's so good that i didn't want to mm, disappoint her with my build so i spent like three times more than i usually spent on my builds probably and the video editing as well like i was thinking a lot of things so what should i give it to you guys and what would you like and only naughty part in this game in this build is that uh corner with lots of gnomes <laughs> and i put the death gnome right in the middle of them so it's like a gang yeah <laughs> okay see you at the ending more bgm Yeah, with more presents under the tree, we're gonna end this video here. I wanted to put a rhyme here, but I couldn't think of any. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching till here, guys. Like, if you like it, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of this kind of contents, make sure to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you would know when I put the new video. Thanks for watching till here yeah i guess this is it like we're gonna go and we're gonna see each other next week though don't worry about it okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna go now bye <laughs>